In today's video, let's talk about customizing poster art within Plex. What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits. Like I said, I'm going to be talking about customizing your poster arts within the Plex Media Server. Poster arts, of course, is the artwork you're going to see when you're browsing through TV shows or movies or stuff like that. But in today's video, I'm going to be focusing on movies. However, the same concept can be carried over to TV shows. In fact, you can even edit custom poster arts for each individual season within a TV show. Now, this video was inspired by a previous Plex Bits video of mine. You can check out the card cards above. Basically, in that video, I showcased James Bond and sorting them by when they were released. And during this demonstration, I did have some custom poster arts for each movie that I displayed. So the common question was, where did you get these poster arts and how can I get them? Well, in today's demonstration, I'm actually going to be using Back to the Future because I really like that movie. And believe it or not, adding or customizing a poster art is super simple. So let's go ahead and jump right in. As you can see here, this is Back to the Future. You can already see the poster art I have selected but if you wanted to change this, all you have to do is click on the edit in the top right of the screen and go to the poster art section. Now this screen normally will showcase many different options for you to select from. In this particular instance, I think I have about 10 different options that I can choose. And to change it, all you have to do is select one of them and click OK. I should note here that you can also change the background in the same fashion. It gives you a little bit more of a customizable option. Now to make things just a little bit more complicated, at least potentially, these poster arts are controlled by what agent you use to match your movies with. For instance, with Back to the Future and the custom poster arts that I had to select from, I was using the Plex Movie Database. However, if you wanted to change the agent that you use, you could select Fix Match from the top right drop down menu, and you can select something like the Movie Database. As you can see here, once I change the agent to the Movie Database and it saves and refreshes everything, I can actually go in and I can see a few more different options for different posters for Back to the Future. So hypothetically, if you did go into one of your movies and you wanted to change the poster art but you didn't see anything, this might be something you might have to do. And this could work both ways. This movie is just a demonstration. You might get more options using the Plex Movie Agent or the Movie Database Agent. So what I would recommend is to play around with this, try each one and see which one can give you the best options. Just keep in mind that using either or might change whether or not you have the ability to see extras for the movie or potentially watch a trailer for the movie. However, if you like what you have as far as having extras or a trailer, but you still want to change the poster art to something that's not listed, Plex still gives you the option to do this. If you go to edit your movie like you did before, go into the poster art as you did before, but this time you can use the option to either A, browse your local computer and upload a custom poster art, or B, you can enter in a URL of one that already exists on the internet. Plex will automatically download it and conform it to your Plex media server specifications. And what I mean by that is like the size for the preview. A great way to get custom poster art for your media collection if you wanted to have a lot of options is to use the moviedb.org. So if you go up to www.themoviedb.org, you can search for your movie as an example, searching for Back to the Future, click on images, and you will see a wide variety of different poster arts that you could use on your Plex media server. In this example, I did find a unique poster art that I could use for Back to the Future. However, it is already listed in the Plex media server. I will still copy this URL and then paste that into the Plex edit screen. And this will allow me to automatically download it and utilize it as a poster art. Now this one, like I said, was already in the options, but this is just giving you an example if you wanted to use a custom one that maybe Plex wasn't displaying as an option. So now that you know how to change your custom poster arts, you can go through your Plex media library, find posters that maybe you don't like, or you want to tweak just a little bit, and you can find better options out there. I think this is a great way to bring a next level of customization to your library. It can definitely take some time. There's no argument there. But still, I think it gives you just a little bit more sense of ownership. Now, as a little side note, this can be very useful for some other things. For example, if you're using your Plex Media Library for something like home movies, using that upload option, you could create your own poster art or a little thumbnail and upload that to your Plex Media Server, rather than relying on the Plex scanner to do the work for you. So guys, that's the end of today's Plex Bits. Let me know if you have any questions, post them down below. And also, if you have any other recommendations for future Plex Bits episodes, I will be happy to read them down below. As always, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have yourself a good day.